just preparing some loquats here for the loquat wine. So that's the fruit. And um, just putting it into this bucket with a sieve. And there's a bit of um, citric acid in with the, the water just to keep them from browning. Beautiful fruits. Japanese plums they're known as. Just lovely juicy pulp. They grow in old bunches like that. Maybe half a dozen, 10, 12. And they've got these two, three, four, five shiny brown seeds inside. Beautiful fruit. Right, this is my brush batch of musk. So this has had one day of steeping so far with a bit of pectic enzyme. So I'm just gonna add the um, add the rest of the ingredients and the yeast. So I've got about 11 liters there, including all the fruit. So I'm um, just gonna get these other ingredients and get this batch going with the yeast. Two teaspoons of nutrient. I'm gonna put a teaspoon of tartaric acid. Right, so the SG is 1.022. It doesn't need any sugar at this stage, it's just going to Process the fruit pulp with the yeast. Get all the juices out of the fruit. That just goes on lightly. So I'll put this back in the room. So this is where I'm brewing the sesame bucket from today. It's about 18 degrees in here, it should be fine. And this is the the one I've just added the yeast to. So that should start doing its thing. Put the bucket on lightly. I've got a little airlock on it as well because this one, this bucket has a hole in it. Alright, so that gets about a week. And this other one I'll give it its yeast and stuff tomorrow. Just giving my um my must a bit of a stir. So that's it after two days of the yeast in. So it's bubbling away nicely. So the whole thing looks a bit more watery now than it was before. So it looks like the fruit's breaking down nicely. You can hear it bubbling. Excellent, so far so good. So this is my second batch. Oh yeah, it's bubbling nicely too. So the pulp's a bit up out of the out of the liquid. So this has had one day of um, one day with the yeast. Yeah, that's bubbling beautifully. Right, this is um, six days later. So this is the bucket of. Um, Loquat fruit, so pretty much stuck fizzing. So I'm going to now um, strain this. So it's been steeping for a week. I'm going to strain it into these two demi johns and uh, add some sugar, and uh, the yeast should fire back up again. So this mesh bag will keep keeps the um, skins and things separate, so it's easy to strain, and also means I can siphon down the side of the. Right. So 
So I should get about four or five liters out of this. But because it's there's heaps of fruit in it, I think I'm gonna spray that over to two glass jars. So that's my first batch. So it started stronger because it had the, the dregs of the bag when I squeezed it. So it probably had a bit stronger juice coming out of the fruit. And in the sugar bottle it probably had a wee bit more sugar in the bottom than the, than the first couple of litres I poured out. So that's three litres of loquat juice, two litres of water with sugar. Similarly with this one. It's just a different starting gravity. This is the first loquat batch. So it's sitting there between 16 and 18 degrees centigrade and it's been bubbling nicely. It did over froth a wee bit at first. So I've only put half the sugar in it, 1 kg, so I plan to put another half um, 500 grams of sugar at the, the next racking. Beautiful yellow colour. So I'm just going to siphon that into this clean 11 litre demijohn and um, then take an SG reading, add some sugar, might have to adjust the uh, flavour a bit if it's a bit too dry, work out how much sugar I need and um, and then get it started on this next one. Right so I'm going to siphon that into here. Um, my loquat batch 2a so it was last wrecked over a month ago so it's um, still fermenting nicely it's clearing up nicely one little bit of floating pulp in there 
there's a fine dusting of sediment on the bottom so um, this one's not quite as golden colored as the the later batches because I was still using raw sugar at this stage which is in part of a wee bit of color so the the caster sugar makes the next batch of loquats beautiful sort of golden yellow color so this is still still fine but it's got that slight brownish tinge I think so I'm just going to wreck this um, probably for the last time and uh, see how we go Sitting on 10, 8 to 10, I'll say, I'll say 9, so I'm just going to taste that. This is my first batch that will have um, reached the drinking stage. So. Definitely got a sort of lemon flavor smell. It's got heaps of flavor. It's quite tangy, it's quite dry. It's quite sweet to start with. Really hits the back of the throat. I mean, it's pretty full bodied that's lovely still a slight yeasty flavor just a wee bit like homebrew homebrew beer type initial flavor but it's got plenty of alcohol that's lovely strong For the first go of wine, that's excellent.